And we begin in the ABC 7 Alert Center with breaking news. A husband is facing murder charges in the death of his wife. He was shot by Doniana Sheriff's deputies Sunday in Picacho Hills. That's west of Las Cruces. ABC 7's Will Heron has new information from our New Mexico mobile newsroom. Sheriff Stewart confirmed that on that day that they responded to the emergency call, when they arrived, they discovered Kim Yaconi, who had apparently been shot and was dead. Minutes later, Bob Yaconi, her husband, and the owner of the home came out and exchanged gunfire with the deputies. Bob Yaconi was injured in the shootout. According to Sheriff Stewart, since January 1st of this year, officers had been called out to the home 15 times, twice for domestic violence. On Sunday, the day Kim Yaconi died, the first call to 911 was placed at 742 by the couple's older son, who told dispatchers his mother was injured and there was a 12-gauge shotgun in the home. 12 minutes later, a second son ran to a neighboring house, crying that his mother has been injured and also called the police. At 758, Stewart says the first units arrived. They know Bob Yaconi is in the home and on the balcony in the backyard. At 817, deputies make their way to the home and find Kimberly Yaconi with her injuries to the face and back. They say she had already died. At 820, negotiations began with Bob Yaconi. He calls to dispatch to say that his mother has been uh, injured, severely injured, and that there is a 12-gauge shotgun in the home. Okay, he remains on the line with us for seven minutes, on the line with dispatch for seven minutes. Yaconi is recovering in an El Paso hospital after multiple surgeries. Coming up at six, we'll have more from the news conference. In Picacho Hills, west of Las Cruces, I'm Will Heron, ABC7. All right, well, according to Sheriff Stewart, the Yaconi children are old, with older siblings now. The video of them in this story was shot when the Yaconi family moved their business from Deming to Las Cruces.